Hi guys, welcome to a very, very hot, sweaty edition of uh, the, the sort of grow out review videos that we're doing. Uh, I'm just giving you a couple of quick updates on uh, a couple of batches. Uh, first of all, we've got the, uh, in this video, the Okawa Karashigoi. Now what's happened since the last selection videos is these fish haven't actually been growing as planned because due to uh, lack of pond space, uh, they had to get merged with the batch of asagi that were also growing and on top of that there was also i think around uh, 90 hoshikin showa uh, and some akawa beni komonryu uh, uh, sorry kawakami beni komonryu all put in here uh, as well so overall uh, the pond's roughly been holding i think 500 fish maybe in excess of that it's been pretty mental uh, looked impressive when you chuck some food in but that's actually created another problem with some physical damage as well we created a lot of split fins with the asagis uh, there's been a few uh you know general uh, sort of areas of slightly raised in flame scales which can come from the sheer impact of uh hitting against the wall when the feeder had been going off so as a result i had to stop using the feeder so i could literally feed into the middle of the pond so all the fish could actually disperse properly and prevent them from uh, damaging themselves further so as a result of all that, uh, I didn't think they'd grown too much, but uh, we have just checked in and seemingly from the last video, I think we're getting the Karashigoi, uh, a couple of size ranges, but, but mainly around 25 to 30 cm ish, uh, maybe a few a bit bigger. Uh, these haven't stuck loads of body on, but just taking a quick sample out now, uh, we can see like that smallest one there is hitting about 28 cm. Uh, and this bigger one, I mean, already breaking over 40, getting to about 42. So as we can see from that, uh, even given those conditions in this environment, they've still been packing the growth on. I mean, they're not particularly skinny, uh, not got the volume that I want, but it just goes to show once again what, what is achievable. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to actually get, get my foot on the gas for these now and really get them pumped up. Uh, there is also uh, nine pieces of really, really super Jumbo Tosai Karashigoi that I bought uh, after all of these. They were actually from Okawa's final Tatigoi selection and I managed to prize 10 pieces away. Unfortunately, one cleared all the security fencing on the pond when it arrived uh, and died. So we are down to, to nine of them now uh, and they actually came in at 47 uh, up to nearly 50 cm. So yeah, they're going to be absolute monsters. Uh, I am going to do a selection, I'm not going to feature it on the video because it's not going to be too uh, interesting and to be honest with you I need to get through it fast because the, the heat in here today is, is absolutely killing me. Uh, but yeah, just generally going to be looking for like these smaller ones now at this point are going to be uh, evicted from the pond and we're just going to focus on the bigger fish uh, for this selection in order to compete with, with everything else in here. There is a few Nisai from last year in the pond which I think will go in harmony with uh, these Karashigoi uh, and, and not cause any detriment to, to either group of fish. So uh, yeah, that's them really. That's a quick update on, on where we are and likely the next video on these uh, is going to be possibly by the harvest, maybe one in between. It depends on what's happening if the pond feels like it needs another thin out. But other than that, uh, that's a quick update and uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with my selection. 